Good evening. I'd like to call to order the City West Bend Licensing Board to order for January 23rd. Note that we do have a quorum and we have two items on our agenda. The first being approval of the minutes, the Licensing Board regular meeting minutes from January 9th. Motion to approve. Second. Thank you. It's been motion seconded. Any comments or corrections? <laughs> Hearing none, all those in favor, sit up by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. And under agenda items for consideration, we have original Class A combination license for Wingate Mart, Inc. at 2825 East Washington. Motion to approve. Second. Thank you. It's in motion second. And any questions on this? Hearing none, all those in favor, sit up by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. And having no further business for the licensing board, I adjourn by the call of the chair. I would like to call the order of the Board of Public Works. I have three items on the agenda. Uh, item number one would be approval of minutes from the meeting of December 19, 2022. Motion, Motion to approve. Second. Any questions or comments? If there are none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Item number two, terminate ex existing and approved new stormwater management practices maintenance agreement 208-210 North River Road, PUD. Good evening, Max. Good evening. Thank you. Um, so this this first item, the two items I have actually for tonight are similar. So this first item is for development at 208-210 North River Road. As usual, when we have new development, um, if uh, we issue a stormwater management permit, we develop some ag agreements with the property owners to make sure that they will maintain um, <clears throat> the stormwater management facilities in the future uh, so they keep functioning as intended. So um, we did that, we issued the permit, we had an agreement in place, and then at some point the developer wanted to make a change um, <clears throat> to their development, and so we had to make a change to the stormwater management permit at that point. And so a new agreement has put, been drafted to account for, for those changes. And so what we want to do is cancel the previous agreement and establish this new agreement for uh, those stormwater management facilities. Do we have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Any questions for Max? There are no questions. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Item number three, terminate existing and approve new stormwater management practice maintenance agreement, family promise. Thank you again. So like I announced, this is similar to the previous uh, item, and this time is for um, the development for family promise. And <clears throat> basically the same scenario where we did have an approved stormwater management permit with the associated agreement, some changes are being made to the, to the property. And so a new development um, was, a, a new agreement was developed with uh, the upgrade to the permit. Motion to approve. Second. Second. Any questions? There are no questions. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you, Max. Thank Being you. No further business before the Board of Public Works. I adjourn. Good evening. I'd like to call to order the Finance Committee meeting for January 23. 2023. <laughs> uh, we got two items on the agenda tonight, uh, first of which being the approval of the minutes. Finance Committee regular meeting January 9th, 2023, 625 p.m. Motion to approve. Second. We got a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, second item on the agenda is the uh, uh, fire department accepting donations from Strakota Trust for Smoke Alarm Program, and that would be Chief Kudek. Take it away. Good evening, everybody. We have a generous donation that we're ex uh, requesting approval to accept from Ms. Suzanne Strakota and the Strakota Foundation. Uh, a $500 donation, that same as she donated last year. Uh, it's very much appreciated and will be put in our free smoke detector program so that we can continue uh, that program next year and beyond. Motion to approve with the thanks to the council. Second. Got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? That motion carries. Thank you. And with no more business before the Finance Committee, I adjourn by the call of the chair. And good evening once again. I'd like to call to order the City of West Bend Con Common Council meeting for January 23rd. Note that we do have a quorum with all aldermen present and accounted for. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. 
allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, I'll note that we have 14 items on our agenda, the first being approval of the Common Council regular meeting minutes from January 9th. Motion to approve. Second. Thank you, Model and Alan. Any questions or corrections? Hearing none, all those in favor, cinema saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. And we have a list of presentations, the first being the 2023 State of the City Address. <laughs> Members of the Common Council, administration, department heads, along with the many business owners, residents, and visitors of West Bend, I am honored to be able to deliver my State of the City address for the final time as your mayor. A few weeks ago, I had a great conversation with Sheila Krupke. She's the owner of Urban Farm Girl and Urban Loft in our historic downtown. And it is historic since we received that official designation, by the way. She had reflected on the growth of our downtown, the various events that were occurring, Main Street reconstruction, and the new businesses opening all around her. And she was excited. The draw of our downtown was infectious. Events were bringing in new visitors. She knew Main Street reconstruction was needed for the long-term development of our city. And even with increased competition with new boutiques and shops coming in, she said, bring it on. Her reflections highlight the progress that we've been making as a city over the past few years. And this past year's progress is what I would like to share with you tonight. First, as always, we are thankful to live in a safe and secure community. Year after year, police, fire, and EMS services continues to be our largest budgeted expense. And for good reason. Our primary responsibility as a municipal government is to serve and protect all who enter our city. Continuation of service, a mantra used by our fire department, is key to make sure all who have been in our care reach a stable and safe condition whenever possible. To this end, police responded to 64,405 policing activities and fire and EMS 5,400 calls throughout 2022 and completed a combined 9,000 plus hours of total training, proving that our growing city continues to utilize our resources. Our police department has increased communication and involvement in our community. Now when a police officer is cited, it may not just be because someone is violating the law, but because they are checking in, answering questions, or maybe just greeting somebody with a smile. Building this rapport from youth on up helps to establish a level of trust and respect that when, when you are in need, the men and women in blue are here to help. See something, say something is our police chief's mantra. And this takes on a new meaning when the understanding of the civil contract we make is that policing is a two-way streak and we as a community can lead this effort together. Despite some ups and downs with funding sources, our city was united in supporting additional firefighter and EMS professionals for our fire department, adding nine new members, the first increase in over 20 years. We recognize that our city has grown much over this time and increased calls were persistent. And we concluded that the time to right-size our department was now and pleased to welcome these new individuals onto the team. I'd like to take a moment to thank these men and women who serve in our police, fire, EMS, and dispatch departments for their service to the city of West Bend. So please join me for a round of applause. <laughs> this past year, we continue to make progress on updating our infrastructure. 18th Avenue, Laurel Drive North, Pennsylvania, and Fifth Avenue were addressed in addition to crack filling, ceiling, and collaboration with utilities. A total of 3.5 million was spent in 2022. In 2023, we continue our commitment to strong infrastructure, spending 3 million to tackle roads such as Laurel Drive South, Rusco Drive, and Water Street with a mix of carefully allocated tax dollars, grant money, and ARPA funds. Also set for this year is downtown Main Street reconstruction. A large project that, while burdensome for a short time, will result in not only a smooth drive, but increased parking and public accessibility as well. Our public works staff and their partners continue to be busy implementing this progress. And for this, they deserve a round of applause as well. Strong economic growth has continued to progress. The district town homes and 1840 Brewery is standing tall at the corner of Washington and North Main, ready to bring new residents to our city this year and to shop our downtown. 
TIF District number 16 was just approved, bringing in a mix of senior housing com and commercial development to another underutilized area of our city. These projects estimate 52 million of assessed value in the new tax incremental financing district. These districts are the tools by which we not only improve those key areas, but better those around them. Continued implementation of Main, Main Street grants, facade improvement grants, and increased tourism dollars are all helping to expand this work. We celebrated Milwaukee Tool opening in the West Bend Manufacturing Center with a 95,000 square foot facility bringing in 100 plus new jobs. The old Shopco building has been remodeled bringing in Five Below, Home Goods, Sierra and Big Lots, and Old Navy and Dunham Sports have moved into the Boston store redevelopment. Small and commercial businesses continue to thrive with new or expanded spaces. Wabi Bricks, Copper River, Barton House, Urban Loft, Good Day Cafe, Gary's Place, Restore, KK Sew and Vac, Milwaukee Power, Reyes Radiology, Beat Goes On Records and more, and Stinger's Golf and Rec along with many more have all made an impact in our great city. Our economic development team, engineering, and planning departments are busy, and we certainly want this to continue. For this progress, let us recognize them as well. Amazing progress has been made to highlight the natural and cultural recreations that are in our city. Our community came together to support the completion of the new Regner Park Beach House, a meeting and gathering place set in our beautiful park system and to utilize with the upcoming swim season as well. Speaking of which, lifeguards are being trained and ready to serve us this summer. The west side of the river walk is near completion as work continues to move ahead. Finally connected to the north via an underpass underneath Washington Ave. And next up is moving forward with the All Abilities Playground, a parent-driven and community-led effort to create a place, space for all children to be another attraction to bring residents and visitors alike into our great city. Many partnerships, grants, and donations are utilized to make these dreams become a reality. For this cooperation amongst our community and city staff, let's give them one more round of applause. Now with all this progress, we certainly have challenges ahead. Our fire department analysis has pushed us to begin conversations on new station placements and response times to best serve our community and those around us. Downtown Main Street reconstruction is a concern for many business owners who are determined to stay afloat throughout. And the West Bend Manufacturing Center has a great anchor tenant with Milwaukee Tool, but more development needs to occur to keep that area solvent. However, in the end, as always, I am optimistic, and I hope you are too. Our residents all want the same thing, to live their lives without having to worry or think about the policy or budget budgetary decisions of their local government. They want garbage to get picked up, emergency services to come when called upon, and new shops and activities to enjoy. Our job is to ensure these services are provided for the best value of their hard-earned tax dollars and celebrate these wins and progress that we make day in and day out. I'll end this talk the same way that I have every year, as this message still rings true. The state of our city is strong. We are blessed with the economic fortitude to persevere. We have invested in and strongly support our public safety divisions and the rule of law. And we continue to provide economic and recreational wins that encourage people to want to live, work, and play in our great city. I know I'm honored to have been mayor of such a city. And we as a council should be proud of our community and the work we get to do day in and day out. Thank you for your time and thank you to all who serve in the great city of West Bend. Thank you so much. And I know you all aren't here just to hear me. I will proceed to items two, three, and four, which are the oath of office for our firefighter paramedic, Trevor Potke, firefighter paramedic, Jacob Bowden, and firefighter EMT, Ryan Wagner. And I'll let our chief and his team take it from here. Good evening, our first individual that gets sworn in tonight is, is Trevor Potke. Trevor graduated from the Slinger Fire Department. Uh, he received his paramedic and firefighter training at uh, Shaw Fire Technical College. Um, he's taken numerous certifications. He worked full time for the Port Washington Fire Department and also the Richfield Fire Department. Uh, we stole him from the Richfield Fire Department and did not give him back. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, Chief. But us. And we're excited to have him. Uh, Mayor, these are the first of the three that, or first of the nine that we talked about. Uh, we're excited with these three individuals. High class, high quality individuals. Uh, that's only going to make our job better. So we're excited to walk through those tonight. Uh, Trevor's badge after his uh, swearing in is going to be pinned by his wife, 
and Kayla. And baby. Awesome. Just going to have you step. There's the mic right here. If you can face the audience. Yep. yep. Just re raise your right hand. Repeat after me. I, Trevor Potke. I, Trevor Potke. Having been appointed. Having been appointed. As firefighter paramedic. As firefighter paramedic. In the city of West Bend. In the city of West Bend. Washington County. Washington County. Swear that I will support. Swear that I will support. The Constitution. The Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the state of Wisconsin. Of the state of Wisconsin. And will faithfully. And will faithfully. Discharge. Discharge. The duties of said office. The duties of said office. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Welcome you. aboard. Congratulations. Thank you. Sign. Our next firefighter is Jacob Bowden. Jacob comes to us from the graduate from Greenfield High School. Uh, he also received his firefighter paramedic training at Washtenaw Fire. Uh, he comes to us from the city of South Milwaukee Fire Department. He is the first to come to us with via lateral transfer. Uh, so we're excited for that. I did tell him the lateral transfer only works one way. So we don't most people by a lateral transfer, but uh, we're happy to have him. Uh, we're excited. He's a paramedic, a uh, good quality individual as well. Uh, he completed his training last week and then started on shift this week. Uh, so we're excited to have him. And after he gets uh, sworn in, his fiance Brandy will be pinning his badge. Oops. 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 Yeah. Have you stopped the mic? And I have you raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Jacob Bowden. I, Jacob Bowden. Having been appointed. Having been appointed. As firefighter paramedic. As firefighter paramedic. In the city of West Bend. City of West Bend. Washington County. Washington County. Swear that I will support. Swear that I will support. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. The Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And will faithfully. And will faithfully. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of said office. Set office. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, Brandy Pins is bad, but I forgot to mention that he did serve in the military from 2012 to 2018 and was deployed twice to Afghanistan. And our third new firefighter today is Ryan Wagner. Ryan comes to us from Sheboygan. Uh, he received his firefighter paramedic and paramedic training at Lakeshore Tech College. Uh, he comes to us from the Plymouth Fire Department, uh, where he received the rank of active mm -hmm. lieutenant. Uh, he comes to us with over 10 years of firefighting experience, so we're excited to have him. Uh, tonight, after his appointment uh, or after his swearing in, he will be pinned by his wife, Deborah. 
I'm going to have you step to the mic. Okay, raise your right hand. Repeat after me. I, Ryan Wagner. I, Ryan Wagner. Haven't been appointed. Haven't been appointed. As firefighter EMT. As firefighter EMT. In the city of West Bend. In the city of West Bend. Washington County. Washington County. Swear that I will support. Swear that I will support. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And will faithfully and will faithfully discharge the duties discharge the duties of said office of said office to the best of my ability to the best of my ability so help me god so help me god congratulations Congrats to our new team members, but we're not done celebrating quite yet. We have a resolution honoring Fire Lieutenant Paramedic James Geldner for 25 years of service. If I can motion, have a motion. Motion to approve. Thank you. Thank you, Alan and Model. All those in favor of this recognition, signal by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. And this resolution so reads, Whereas firefighters protect our lives, our families, and the economic life of our community from the threat of fire and hazards, they risk their lives to preserve the lives of others and to protect our property and resources from destruction. And whereas James Geldner began his service with the West Bend Fire Department in January 1998 as a firefighter. In June 2010, he became a paramedic, was promoted to a motor pump operator slash paramedic in December 2018, and then promoted to lieutenant paramedic in March 2021. Whereas during his career as a fire Firefighter. He has obtained certification as a Firefighter 1, Driver Operator Aerial and Pumper, Fire Officer 1, and Fire Officer 2. He leads by example with always having a hard work attitude and willing to take on any job. Therefore, be it resolved that the City of West Bend honors Fire Lieutenant Paramedic James Gellner and express its deep appreciation for his 25 years of loyal and dedicated service. Let's give him a round of applause. said I should say something. Yeah, so, any wise words for us? So I guess I will. Uh, <laughs> I came to West Bend in 98 and left my home to be here. Now it's home. So this has been, I've been 25 years here, so I do love living in West Bend. I encourage all these guys to have a good 25, 30 year career. So uh, thank you. And it's been a pleasure to, I don't know, I, I coached football for 15 years in the city. I, I enjoy being a part of the city. So I thank all of you who put your time and be a part of it. It's a team effort. and. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Nice job, Goldie. Uh, if you ever gave somebody permission to just go up there and, and speak whatever they want to say, when you said, what should I say? I said, whatever you want. And after those words left my mouth, I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> but uh, well done. Uh, another great character kind of guy. Coach football a lot of years around here. He's a, he's a local kid. Now he's a local kid, we call him. but. Um, has done anything we've asked of him on the fire department. Um, he's a mentor to the younger firefighters. Uh, he leads by example. Uh, we couldn't be more proud of having him on our department uh, and we're thankful for him. So good job, Goldie.
Thank you so much again. Thank you everybody for coming out. We do just have a, a brief few more items on our agenda, so you're welcome to stay. Otherwise, if you'd like to head out, thank you so much for coming out tonight. And I'll move on to our consent agenda consisting of items six through nine. If we could have a motion. Motion approved. Second. Thank you. Uh, I'll give that to Kaylor and Alan. Yeah. All those in favor, set up by saying aye. All right. Aye. Any oppose? Thank you. Moving on to agenda items for consideration. Number 10, a resolution to join AARP, Network of Age-Friendly Communities. And we're going to have a brief, nope, yep, okay, a brief presentation <laughs> by <laughs> Jacob. Welcome, Jacob. I think this is your first time up at the dais here talking to us. No pressure. Hello. Good evening. Um, so, yes, as we, um, you see on the agenda, over the past couple of weeks, the communications department has been working on filling out an application to join the AARP Network of Age-Friendly Communities. Um, it is both a recognition of our current efforts to support people into their um, citizens of all ages, um, especially into their retirement years, but also a commitment to continue to support people as they move into their retirement. Um, so that involves um, continuing to provide public spaces that are accessible to all people regardless of age, and as well as providing um, the services and um, other um, community um, assets that we already provide in this community. So um, with this application will be available to receive additional um, insight from communities that have gone ahead of us in terms of the great work that they've been doing there as well as receive um, potential eligibility for funding to support those efforts thank you so much any questions for Jacob otherwise I'll look for a motion motion to approve second thank you give it to uh, model and Dolnik all those in favor send them by saying aye. Aye. aye any opposed thank you good job and number 11, resolution for Vibrant Spaces grant application pilot program within Community Development Grant CDI program, Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation. Jess. Sure, I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have on the resolution, uh, but essentially this is a grant application uh, that is being created and submitted by the end of the month um, for the walkway that's in between the th historic uh, theater and uh, Hussar's House of Fine Diamonds. So that's where it's located. But Motion to approve. Second. Thank you, Alan and Kaylor. All those in favor, send me saying aye. 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 Any pose? Thank you. Thanks, Jess. Thanks. Hey, I'm moving on to reports. First is a report by Alderman Burquist regarding the library board meeting. And he told us it was going to be, how, you, how long? Four minutes? So we're going to hold you to that? Four minutes. Four minutes. <laughs> sure. Right. Start the Go clock. Ahead. And the last meeting of the library board was held on January 17th. After the Pledge of Allegiance, we approved the consent agenda consisting of minutes of our last meeting, which was November 15th, and the expenditures for November and December of 2022. Uh, financial reports were given, which included recognition of a donation from Marilyn and Keith Roosh. Thank you very much for that. Uh, library Director Steve Theory provided a written report that was discussed at length. Uh, items of interest included a a proposed bill in the legislature right now, LRB 1095-1, uh, which con is that deals with pupil or minor uh, minor access to uh, harmful material in public libraries and public schools. This is similar to legislation introduced last year, but had no action taken. With the new session of the legislature, the bill is again being presented for consideration. Representatives of the Wisconsin Library Association, of which we are a member, are monitoring the legislation and may have additional information for release at the Library Legislative Day, which is February 7th. Uh, Steve reported total physical circulations for 2022 was down. Uh, 1,417 circulations, but despite this, the West Bend Library still is the highest circulation in the system with over 404,000 physical circulation or physical items for circulation. Uh, West Bend is also the highest circulating library of overdrive content uh, with over 75,000 total overdrive digital circulations. Uh, this is uh, almost 4,000 circulations 
uh, over the Mead Library in Sheboygan, which is the largest library in the system, which we're often compared with. Uh, visits to the library increased 18% in 2021. Cardholders have dropped over 12,000 due to a purge of patrons that occurred last year. Uh, this is a natural occurring thing. It's not something that just happened. Uh, it occurs when cardholders have not used their library cards in over three years or have fines of less than $5. On a positive note, new cardholders went up 1,400 in 2021 and 2,300 in 2022. Ideally, we have library cards for everybody in the city of West Bend and and many surrounding areas. That's an outstanding job. Uh, library teams are reviewing the collection and will report on areas that need to be updated or weeded. Uh, that's a term in the biz. Uh, the library has added five internet hotspots to the collection, and initial reports are that they are all working well. The library has also extended online resources through Hoopla Flex. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, this is a program which allows us the opportunity to purchase current in demand items online. Uh, building issues. <clears throat> Uh, we're waiting for quotes to come in on a new camera system update with some security features. Uh, that'll be good. The roof bid is uh, the roof bid request is live. Those are Steve words, Steve's words, and we are scheduled for door replacement in this year's CIP. We are also writing grants to support the solar panel project that has been in the works for some for a while now. Uh, there has been some employee turnover, but uh, there has also been mentoring of staff that has uh, led to a minimizing of the effect of the loss. Uh, Steve read to us several thank you letters that he received from patrons uh, who were appreciative of the services offered by the library. The library board president also had a letter of thanks from an individual who sat in on one of our meetings and was very appreciative of the time with us. Uh, agenda items included approving updates to the board bylaws and the materials selection and reconsideration policy, which was last updated in 2009. Uh, the next meeting of the library board is scheduled for February 21st. Any questions? I wasn't timing. Oh. Yeah, I, wish, I should have been timing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, no questions. You answered all my questions. Outstanding. <laughs> and last but not least, a report by Alderman Allen or Alderman Aarons regarding the Tourism Commission meeting. Well, that would be Alderman Allen giving the report. Uh, we met. We had a. Uh, we just met our quota or our quorum. Uh, we uh, were considering ten thousand dollars in Tourism Commission grants for activities this year. Um, we had eight applicants. Uh, we awarded um, uh, uh, grants to six of them, the Bend Theater, uh, the City, the West Bend Parks and Rec Concert Series, uh, German Fest, the Gardens of West Bend, uh, which is the garden show this year, uh, the Art and Chalk Fest at MOA and Fiesta Latina. Um, and there were two, uh, two other uh, grantees that we thanked for making a submission but did not, uh, did not award. Thank you. Any questions for Alderman Allen? Then, as we're at the end of the, our uh, business, I'll open up. If there's any business for the good of the order. Yes? The library. <laughs> I, as a patron of the library, I, cons I recommend that everybody who's not consider it because it's a great library and it has lots of resources. And even if you don't want to venture out in the cold and the snow, <laughs> they got stuff for you. So You got it. But it is a warming location if you do want to venture out in the snow. So. Well, yeah, but you, it's it's like winter warm up. Yeah. I think they need to change the name because it's really like winter freeze. Yeah. Exactly. Speaking of winter warm up, I just want to thank everybody for coming out. It was it was crazy successful. I don't know how you gauge success, but walking around the streets, seeing how many people were out there shopping at different shops is awesome. Really, really cool. So thanks to all those volunteers and businesses who made that happen. Anything else? Then having no further business for the Common Council, I adjourn by the call of the chair. Have a good night.